Hello guys, welcome to the Python tutorials by Shashi Technologies. In this session, we are going to have the discussion about OS module. With the help of OS module, we can create a directory, we can delete a directory, we can change the name of the directory, we can see the list of files existed in the directory, some other operations. So before going to start the programming part, I am requesting all the participants just to please consider this is a directory where I am going to show you all the operations in the D drive. Python 8 folder. So in the D drive, Python 8 folder, I'm going to show you all these uh, OS of OS module operations on this directory. So please kindly notice that. So let me start working with this OS module. My dear friend, just to, to write the script statement, go to the file menu and click on what you find new file. In this, if you want to work with the OS module, first import the OS module. In the OS module, there are a lot of functions are provided. In the first function, get current working directory, just get CWD is one of the predefined function. It is always used to return the current working directory. Just for you to get an idea, I'm taking the variable name is CWD. If you want to print the current working directory, just I want to give some message here. Current working directory is current working directory is current working directories. I just want to print CWD. So just if you want to run the script statement, first go to the file menu and I want to save the file in your desired location. For easy to understand, already I said you, I am just going to perform all these operations in the D drive, Python 8. This is the location I want to save this program with what your friend os.py. Any name for your script file, no problem. Now your script file is saved in what your friend, just a, this is the location in the D drive, Python 8. So that is the what your friend the current working directory. So it is always returns the current working directory where this program is getting executing from. So let me show you my dear friend. Go to the run menu and click on run module. You will be getting the current working directory in the D drive Python 8. That is the location where our program is got saved. If the program is saved any location, that location will be shown as a current working directory. My dear friend. So in order to comment these lines, select this line, use Alt 3. I'm just commenting those lines. Now my dear friend, just I would like to tell you another beautiful function that is creating a directory. In order to create the directory, there is a one beautiful function is given for you, os.mkdir. So what is the name you want to create the directory? So with what name you want to create the directory, that name you can give it. Until I am creating a directory name with what your friend just uh, James. I want to create one directory with the name James. This directory will be created in the current working directory only. The current working directory means the location where this program is getting executing from. So my dear friend, just I want to give the message. Directory is what your friend directory is created. In order to run this, just before going to execute, you save the script, go to the run menu and click on run module. Now one directory is created. Where this directory is created? In this location. Because already said you in the D drive Python 8. Let me open the directory and check this. Now one directory is created or not created. Why dear friend? Just if you notice that. One directory is created with the name of James at this timestamp. This is a directory is got created at this particular time in this particular date. This is a way if you want you can create a directory in the particular location by using mkdir. So if you want to create the group of directories simultaneously, an excellent function is provided in the OS module. Let me show you how to create the group of directories simultaneously. Before this, I want to comment these lines and I want to show you something my dear friend. OS dot, OS dot, there is a something make DIRs, make directories. So what the name you want to create the directories. Sir, instead of the what your friend, instead of the James, I want to create subdirectory. Instead of that, I want to create subdirectory 1. Instead of that, I want to create subdirectory 2. So it is going to be created the three directories in the James folder. Sub, sub1, sub3. Let me check this, my dear friend. So three subdirectories are created. See it's subdirectories are created. So just to run this, before run, just you must save the script. Go to the run menu and click on run module. Now the C three subdirectories are created. In which directory you created inside of the James, sub, sub1, sub2. But the James is a directory which is already created in the current working directory. The current working directory is the Python 8. So let me go back and show me. So just what dear friend, I am opening this James. Instead of the James, you have seen that what dear friend sub. 
instead of the sub there is a one more folder is created called sub1 instead of the sub1 there is a one more folder is created called sub2 so this is a way we can create a subdirectory inside as another subdirectory inside another subdirectory we can create group of sub sub directories at a time by using a beautiful function provided in the os module make dirs make directories friends just there is a one more beautiful function is given for you to delete a particular directory to delete the particular directory they provided one beautiful function os dot os dot rmdir rmdir which directory want to remove in the word james folder sub directory instead of that instead of that sub1 instead of that sub2 sub2 directory want to delete yes then rmdir is a predefined function from os module it is used for deleting the, a particular directory so which directory will be deleted my dear friend just a sub2 will be deleted from the sub1 so let me check this my dear friend sub2 is deleted sub2 is deleted let me run this control s is a shortcut key for save and f5 is a shortcut key for run now it is saying very clearly sub2 is deleted from where you are deleting actually from sub2 we are deleting from sub1 sub1 is available in the sub that is there in the james let me check that my dear friend instead of the james that is a sub then sub1 but sub2 is got removed from the sub1 this is what our expectation right we are expecting we are we are expecting to delete what dear friend sub2 from the sub1 that is got removed now my requirement is sir just i want to remove the group of directories simultaneously will it be possible or not yes there is a another beautiful function is provided in the os module that is os dot os dot remove dirs remove dirs remove dirs what you want to remove james i want to remove instead of that sub i want to remove instead of that sub one i want to remove now all the three directories will be removed all three directories directories are removed that is what removed or deleted just you can check it out my dear control s for shortcut itself and uh, f5 is a shortcut key for run now let me check is saying that three directories are deleted let me check that my dear friend very fortunately if you notice that in python 8 in e drive we are not having the folder named what james no there is no folder named james because we are requested the python virtual machine to delete all the three subdirectories in a single shot sub1 sub and james all the three directories are removed in a single shot my dear friend so this is a way we can delete the group of directories at a time by using a beautiful function remove dirs remove dirs my dear friend now we have another function is provided to get all the list of files which are existed in the current working directory in order to get the list of files which are exist in the current directory os dot list just os dot there is a lstdir there's a beautiful function is given for you my dear friend this is lstdir this is what your friend just a list of directories list dir this function is provided for you to get what dear friend all the list of files and directories which are exist in the current directory that will be written in the form of the list so now what i want to do is just to let me print all the list my dear so when i run this one you will be getting all the list of files which are existed in that particular directory not only the files all the files and directories which are existed in the this python 8 folder this all the files and directories which are existed will be extracted and displayed but friend actually that will be in the list uh, that will be in the form of list if you want get one by one just i want to take for i in lst now time dot sleep sleep is a word function it is used to delay the execution for 0.5 seconds then what do your friend just to print i then just before going to uh, use this one just we have to import the time module so my dear friend now it will be shows you all the list of files which are existed and which of files and directories which are exist in the current directory shows you one by one one by one one by one just it will showing you all the files and directories which are exist in the current directory this is the way my dear friend so just to now you can see this just to, if you want you can crash verify that these are the files which are there in that yes these are all the files and directories which are existing in it so just to totally how many items are there in this directory my dear friend if you notice it here it is showing you very clear that is what your friend totally 26 items are there 
I would like to check really these 26 items are taken by that uh, list dir function. I want to check it out. In order to check that, there is a one function is provided for you. There is a len function is given. Len is a predefined function from OS module. It is sorry, len is a predefined function from built ins module. It is always used to return the total number of items are existed in the list collection. Okay, list collection. So that just I want to print what your friend just uh, it will return number of items are existed. Finally, I want to print what your friend just one line. This iPhone will be printed for 20 iteration. So that is nothing but 20 times that iPhone will be repeated. After this, I want to display what your friend just a count of the files and directory. Count of the files and the directories or files and directories. This is what your friend just can I. Let me run this my dear, save and go to the run menu and click on run module. So that it will be displaying all the files and directories which are existed in that uh, current working directory. And also that count is going to display the total number of files and directories are existed. By using the len function we have written, then you can see my dear friend, it will shows you. Total number of files and directories are existed in the current directory is 26. This is the way. Now ladies and gentlemen, just there is a one more beautiful function is provided in the OS module that is system. What is the use of the system? By using the system function, we can execute, we can execute other than the python commands. So now my requirement is, I would like to open the calculator or else if you want to open the notepad or else if you want to execute other than the operating system commands. In order to execute the commands which are other than the uh, which are other than the python which are other than what your friend python there is a beautiful function is given for you in the os module that is what system system is a predefined function i would like to display the date so, okay let me run this when you run this one it is shows you the current date of the system you can check it out my dear friend so, but internally it is opening the OS shell and that command is executed in the OS shell. When you click on this OS shell, then only the control will be coming back to Python shell. If you want to execute other than the Python commands or if you want to execute the operating system commands, then we have to use what your friend just a system is a predefined function from OS module. My dear friend, now my requirement is I want to open the calculator by using the python script will it be possible yes os dot what your friend system what is the name of the application you want to open just you write the calci let me run this one just by taking single second of time the calculator will be open in front of you so if you want to launch any application by writing your python script statement by using what your friend the system function we can achieve that by using system function we can achieve it so there is a one more function is there my dear friend just there is a rename by using the rename function we can change the name of any file or directory ladies and gentlemen if you notice already we are in the d drive python 8 there is a one folder named what list there is a one folder named list i want to change the name of the list with the list list 1 to 3 i want to change this name list 2 list 1 to 3 let me show you there is a one beautiful function is given in the os module os dot os dot rename then first of all you need to give the old name then you have to give the new name list one two three then my dear friend just i want to give the message like the name is what your friend just name is changed or something like this name is changed we can write it my dear friend name is changed let me run this so you can check it out practically that name is got changed or not go to the directory and you can check it out my dear friend just very fortunately the name of the folder list is changes from list to list one to three so my dear friend just these are the ways we can uh, perform the operation using os prompt i hope you ladies and gentlemen got the clear idea about what is the os module and how to work with the os module that's all for this session thank you for watching please subscribe and share with your friends see you all in the next video